Hi folks, it's Rob from the Brush and Balkan. Today I'm going to be doing a very quick tutorial on how to paint plate armour. Now I'd rather have a black undercoat, so instead I used Citadel Lead Belcher Spray, and I've just painted his armour black so that you can see how it'd usually look. Now I'm going to start applying Citadel Lead Belcher from the pot onto all the arm plates. Now you can use any metallic to do the armour, it's pretty much the same principle. You just put the initial base layer on, and then follow the same steps with the shades and the different layers. Now the next layer that we're using is Citadel Nuln Oil. That's the shade that we're going to paint into all of the recesses. Now I do just tend to wash the whole armour with it because I find it easier than trying to just put it down the recesses themselves, but if you want to take the time put it into the recesses and not anywhere else, that's fine too. Like so. Now we're going to reapply the base colour, which was the Citadel Lead Belcher. You're going to reapply that so that you're leaving the shade in the recesses. And bring that armour back up to a nice shine again. I will be using this model for a few more tutorials because it's got a few different bits on it. Like it's got leather sleeves or normal sleeves. It's got a cloak, he's got fur on him. And a face with a beard. So there's plenty to go on with with that. Now that we've painted the metallics on, you can leave it there if you want, it does look perfectly good like that. I'm going to carry on with another two layers. The first one is going to be Citadel Lead Belcher with some Vallejo Model Air Chrome added to it. And this will just give a lighter highlight and a bit more shine to the areas that will be catching the light. Now you don't use, need to use this mix, you can use just a lighter metallic. So if you've got sort of like a Citadel Iron Breaker, or one of the really old ones like Mithril Silver, you can use that. That's with the first highlight on it. And I'm just going to do one more highlight, which is going to be pure Vallejo Model Air Chrome. You're just going to put a little bit of a highlight on the areas that you've just highlighted. Even some of the previous layers showing around the edges of it. That's just to give it a final little shine. Again, this layer and the one before it aren't necessarily needed. If you just want to do the lead belcher, then the shade, and then a lead belcher. Or a metallic, a shade, and a metallic. That works perfectly fine too. Like so. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video, and if you have, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future content. Also, think about subscribing to some of our other social media linked below. Thanks very much.